Hi everyone, I am here today to explain Cambridge IGCC ICT 2017 May June paper 2 to presentation part. In this part of the question paper, they say you are required to create a presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting unless otherwise instructed. Each slide must display a little, uh, sorry, a title and bulleted list. So create a presentation with seven slides using the file JGG G227 research. So, so we'll open the presentation here, PowerPoint. And then we'll open the blank presentation by clicking on open here. And we'll choose the file now from desktop. Yeah. So all the files, J22, and they call it uh, research, this one. So here we have a presentation with seven slides. Next step is display the following features on all slides. The company logo position on the left corner appropriately sized with aspect ratio maintained. So we'll click on view, slide view, slide master view. Then we'll move to the first slide, insert a picture and the picture of logo here, company logo. This one to the top left is seen. So I will place it at the top left here. And I'm going to resize it, for example, to one only. So I have resized it to one only and then you just move to the next step as well, just here. Then next step is your name, center number, candidate number at the bottom right corner. So just type your name, center number and candidate number here. and Next is automated side number at the top right. So this side number will move from here to the top right of the slide. And this one, the bottom right. So we'll just remove this one, we don't need it. I will click on insert, header and footer. Then we'll click on these two options to show the side number and footer information applied to all this one must be right aligned as well now when you click on view and normal view this is how your slide will look like next step is change the layout of slide one to appropriate layout for a title and subtitle so click on layout and then we'll choose a title slide with a subtitle as well. So here we have uh, only this one. So we just need to type our name here. They mentioned yes, and then insert your name after presented. By then, delete the slide with characteristics of internet. So here we have characteristics of internet right click and delete the slide and next step is change the layout of the slide with title web search tool to a table title and a table so let's say tool we remove this one and we click on insert a table sorry i'm just going to click on home and layout title and the content and then I need a table with three columns and nine rows. So table with three columns and nine rows is how it will look like. And then format all the grid line with no cell shading, no color, nothing. So we'll just select our table and we'll choose from here. No shading. Select all the table yeah no shading 
and then borders all visible just like that and then after copy the data from the j22 tools.csv and place in this table so we'll open j22 tools the data and we'll copy this one from here that is your first cell first column data we'll paste it here and then here is another column we'll copy this one and just paste here and then the last column and we'll paste it here so it is inserted now we have the data here we're just going to increase the size of data at the moment it is 11 increase it to 20 it's enough i guess and then right click and uh, if we have an option here to adjust the table to fit to the contents otherwise you can just make this these columns smaller just like that yeah we just need to make this one smaller as well just like that and we'll make this a little bit bigger so just like that that is enough and next step is insert a new row above the first row of the table and enter this heading into that so we'll click here then we we'll right click and insert a row above enter the heading and merge three cells right click merge cells and change the color of the font or just click on home we'll change the font color from here to black and this one must be center align as well so we'll center align it and first row for format row one and two of the table to board with 24 font size so row one and row two only bold and 24 point this is how it will look like just arrange like that yes and table must be at the center and then next step is the slide with the title why internet information may not be reliable is incomplete identify in your own words two reasons why information found on internet may not be reliable and enter your answer as a separate bullets on the slide so we need to type our answer as a bullet move to the slides here yes so first one i'm going to say that anybody can set up a website yes and then after internet is not regulated then commercial sites may be biased and then wikis can be edited by non experts that's it and then the slide with the title how to evaluate website content incomplete give two methods in your own words 
checking the reliability of information found on internet and enter your answer as a separate bulleted list. So now we need to move to other side, this one, and we'll type our comments about how to evaluate. So first of all, check the web site domain for example that is a uh, dot ac dot gov then dot org and then dot edu okay suffixes Uh, suffixes are usually reliable and then after compare information from different sites also check for bias advertising of site and then see if responsible bodies have endorsed the site if site has testimonials it is likely to be reliable and you can also say check date if outdated website if out of date or you can say outdated is unlikely unlikely to be reliable and then check author credentials and check functionality of website that's all and next just read here save your presentation print the presentation as a six slides lay and out so click on file and print with six slides per page just like that and then after this read Print only the slides with the title why internet information may not be reliable and how to evaluate website content on full page. So you need to click on full page this slide and then this slide both of them need to print on a single page. So that's all from the presentation part of this question paper. Hope you have learned about how to deal with the presentation and how to uh, write about the evaluation, how to evaluate a website and how to rely on information available on internet. So thanks for watching. Subscribe the channel for more videos and updates.